Well, back to another match review. Israel won. Scotland won. Not good enough. Absolute fucking dog shit on a platter. Steve Clark. Davey Marshall. I don't even know what to say, man. This I think we're out. <laughs> don't be a defeatist about it. But yeah. I mean, see Davey Marshall, what he did in that shootout? Oh, great. But let's be real. Football is all about the present. The current standings. And he cost us a goal against Austria. And he's cost us a goal. I mean, the commentators, like, they're trying to kiss his ass at this, to a certain degree. I think, like, sticking up for him. But, uh, I mean, it was straight at him, this shot, man. And Peretz, whatever you call him, man. Straight at him. First half, we were, we were awful. I mean, Shea Adams wasn't actually that bad up front, to be fair. A couple of offside runs. Um, Christie was brought on after half time. But they're shot, man. They're goal. Put it straight at the goalie. It was pish. And see, I, see Steve Clark. he's only got the one tactic, and that is play pish, but hopefully get something out of the game. Now, some people might argue a draw away to Israel isn't bad, given our uh, recent shit, our recent results against them, which I, I can agree to a certain degree, but only if we beat Austria. Four points at the first six against those two teams wouldn't have been that, but two points already four points behind Denmark, already two behind Austria. Yes, they play each other next, and that's if we beat the Faroe Islands, and being how shit we are, man, will we beat the Faroe Islands? I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm fucking lost for words. Like, oh, God, we need... I don't even know. Like, they've got us to the Euros, but let's be real, it was two scrappy penalty shootouts that got us there, one against Israel, one against Serbia. We should be doing a lot better. We we should not be getting outplayed by Israel for the first 45, I mean, more or less the whole game. I mean, it was a good goal from Ryan Fraser. After that, we had a few chances. Uh, McTominay had one. Good save for Marciano. Um, Christie had a pass straight to him. He just scuffed it. Christie was shite. Robertson was shite. Again, I think Tierney being absolutely wasted in that left centre-back position. Every cross that was whipped in via Fraser. Or Robertson was dog shit. The other side wasn't much better. Dykes was good when he came on. Um, Armstrong showing bits of promise, but I, I, again, like, like you could argue it should be a one 0 win. But what, why do we wait to go down to start playing? Same against Austria. Same here, and same in the other games. Pretty recently, we should not be waiting. They were on the back foot to play well. We should be on the front foot against Israel. We've played them enough. If it was a one-off game, you can accept maybe, all right, they just got the better of us that one time. We have played Israel about 10 times in the past three years. That's not even taking the piss, literally. And yet it seems like every time Israel is the team that is getting better. Are we, are we not learning anything for facing them? Like, they're not even that good. We're much better on paper, but... Fucking Steve Clark could make the Brazilian national team look like Kilmarnock. And that... And that's what he's done here. That That is what he's done here. I mean, it finishes 1-1. I personally think we're out. I'm not being a defeatist. I just don't see us... I just don't see us, um... Getting... getting I mean, we should beat the Pharaohs, and then that would take us level, hopefully, with Austria. You know? If they draw with Denmark, or if they get beat, it would put us above us. But in the grand scheme of things, we should be getting four points out of these first two games, at least. And instead, we've picked up two. It's disappointing. You know, I don't want to compare ourselves to the, the other home nations. I mean, you look at the Republic, you look at Northern Ireland, both pish, but we, we have much better squads than them. Much fucking better squads. We need to be setting the bar higher here. It's like a fucking golden generation of players we've got, man, and we're playing absolute pish football. I think Clark... You know, I, I don't even know. Whoa, why is he doing a lot of swearing? That's what happens when you're passionate, mean Gene. See people that don't like swearing, go watch the fucking Disney Channel or CBBS or something. Although you might get some better fucking football on over there, because this we've been we we are not pretty to watch. It works when you get results, but when you don't, you have to call it. Out. But anyway, guys, are you Stevie Boy Clark out? Don't think I'm Clark out yet, but we need to just like Jesus Christ, like we didn't even really go for it. We, like this was a must win in my opinion, but instead the arse collapsed and we're beat, guys. So leave your thoughts down below. But until next time. That'll do it. Um, 
Yeah, so peace.